Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another day. It's a Wednesday for virtual learning at Oakview Elementary School, where our vision is to promote a high performing culture and climate that inspires our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. Our mission is to reach, to teach, and to equip. And our theme for the year is maximizing our potential. At this time, we're going to stop to recite our student creed. I'm an OU elementary school student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the chance to be the best student that I can be. I am proud of my school. The vision of OU is to promote a high promote culture and climate to smarter, inspire our community and learn to achieve academic excellence. I accept responsibility for my behavior and its results. I determined to be safe, responsible, productive, and respectful. I have a high expectation for myself and I reach my full potential. I choose to be great. Parents, we recite the vision, mission, and theme every morning, not just out of routine, but that hopefully it will resound within you, within your students, so that you can make that vision, mission, and theme a living and breathing commitment to learning while at Oakview. One of the things um, we I received quite a bit of text messages, not text messages, but messages in Dojo on yesterday. Um, teachers are beginning to send deficiencies to let you know um, the areas that need to be addressed for your student. Please do not take this as a knock against students or our inability to work with you or unwillingness to work with you. We're required to send out deficiencies to let parents know when your child's grade has dropped below a C average and it's remaining in that area. Use this as a checklist, as an opportunity to fix some areas. Have conversations with the teachers. Please reach out to them to schedule parent conferences just as you would while we, uh, if we were in the building. Give them an opportunity to speak with you, um, but please have that relationship and conversation with teachers. Um, I'm more than willing to be a part of conversations, but I think it is right um, that you give them that opportunity for a conversation first. Um, and, and so deficiencies are going out, but use it as a checklist for your students to get back on target. And many of you may say, Presley, I know my child has dropped below a certain grade point average. We're trying to get caught up or below a certain grade. We're getting caught up and catching up with work, that's fine. Um, it's not something that sticks with them always. It is a requirement for us to let you know um, by way of a deficiency that your child has dropped below a C. So please understand it's not a ding against you. It's not a ding against your child. If your child has always been on a roll and by the end of the semester, they get their grades back up to A or AB status, they'll still be on honor roll. It's just a requirement, one of the steps in the learning process that we must do. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. I wanted you to hear it from me, the purpose of the deficiency. It's just to let you know where your child is. And if they drop below a C, we're required to notify you and have one on file, okay? It doesn't take your child off of any accolades that they may receive by the end of the semester. For us to congratulate them for working so hard. I know virtual learning is hard. I know that you all are committed and we appreciate that. On that note, I did wanna to bring to your attention, we're having our first virtual dance this school year everybody's been working hard students teachers parents and we just want to take a minute to celebrate pause have a good time together so i hope that you'll allow your children to log on to instagram and you'll log on to instagram those of you that were with us in the spring you know we had a good time but this time dj super crunk and strawberry jam are gonna battle it out to see who's the best i believe they put a link in the in classroom dojo so if you have a song request 
drop it in the link so that they can play your favorite song and we can have a good time on Friday. I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate what you do. If you have questions about MAP, meet us on Thursday um, for on a Zoom at 6 o'clock so that you can ask questions about MAP. Um, assessment that'll be coming up on Tuesday. Remember, there's no school on Monday. Let's have a great Wednesday. This is our asynchronous day in our small groups. So if your child has a small group lesson today, please make sure that they log in. Otherwise, go ahead, take care of your asynchronous lessons. And if you continue to have, if you still have work that needs to be made up, use this day to do that. I love you. I mean it. Have a wonderful Wednesday. DJ Strawberry Jam. I'm glad you accepted my challenge. You see, that's the problem with you, you new school young millennial people. You don't, you don't understand what you, what you get yourself into. But that's okay. DJ Supercrack is going to school you this coming Friday, October 9th. Virtual school dance. DJ versus battle. DJ Supercrack versus DJ Strawberry Jam. You know what? What's a strawberry jam? I put, I put jam on my, on my toast and I eat it <laughs> for breakfast. That's what I do, and that's what I'm going to do this coming Friday. So all of you who are watching, make sure you tune in this coming Friday. Instagram Live at Oakview underscore DeKalb, 2.30 p.m. Virtual School Dance. Super Crunk, Strawberry Jam. It's on for real. Good morning. It's your friendly school counselor, Miss Jennings, with this month's Character Ed message. The character trait for the month of October is courage. Courage means doing the right thing even though it may be difficult. Courage also means taking on new things that you may have never done before, sort of like virtual learning. When you think of courage, I want you to think about being brave like your favorite superhero. So go out there, be brave, and show your courage. Have a great day, Oakview. Greetings, Oakview Strong. It's mindfulness time. I have my handy dandy stress less card and I will read from the card uh, while we engage in our mindfulness and the uh, title of the card that I chose is go back to you go back to you so get into your mindful bodies allow your bodies to be still allow your bodies to be calm Allow your bodies to focus on your breath. Allow your eyes to close. Continue to focus on your breath. If you feel your thoughts drifting because of too much noise or too much to do, gradually shift your attention to your breath. Continue to allow your bodies to focus on your breath. Gradually shift your attention away from the things around you and your thoughts. Continue to focus on your breath. Feel all of your attention shifting to your breath. Continue to focus on your breath until you feel safe and calm. Allow your eyes to open. Have a great day, Oakview.